What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction and today is the day that they finally released the Nintendo Switch patch for Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. So an update like this was very anticipated, especially for Nintendo Switch users and mainly just for one specific reason. And this specific issue is the diagonal movement bug that has been plaguing this game since day one. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will agree with me, or pretty much all of you guys will agree with me, that the Nintendo Switch version of Rehydrated was just completely flawed. I mean, there are a lot of rendering issues, um, there's a lot of frame rate issues, the loading times were long, and also the diagonal movement was pretty much killing everyone's experience. And the diagonal movement issue was just one of the biggest problems in this game for me and honestly that was mainly the reason why I never wanted to play this game on the Switch because of that one simple issue. And even to this day I, I'm still amazed how this issue was overlooked so easily. I mean this issue like shouldn't have been an issue in the first place. I mean like if they saw that there was something wrong with the Joy-Cons they should have fixed it immediately. I know it's been like a month and a half since like this thing has been around. And, you know, I'm just, let's just be happy that this update finally came out for the Switch. So I'll put the patch notes up in the screen right now. So more or less, it's the same. The only difference, of course, is the Joy-Con issue being fixed. Um, everything else, it's pretty much the same as it was last week. Uh, nothing really special. But I think it's best to, to, you know, just describe everything in the patch notes. Um, just for you guys that haven't seen my previous patch note video. So it says, it fixed an issue where diagonal movement on Joy-Cons made Spongebob move too slowly. Um, this did not only affect Spongebob, it also affected Patrick and Sandy. Um, and it wasn't just Joy-Cons, you could use a Pro Controller or like any other third-party controller and you still have the same issue, but they did fix it. So thank god we can finally play the game like it's any other version. So it's now it says, implemented, implemented a fix to minimize the chance of corrupted saves, added the option to replay Robo bosses after the first defeat. The music in the multiplayer mode now cycles randomly through the full soundtrack, added more concept art to the theater, fixed a bug where the game crashed when enemies targeted the player, fixed an exploit in Kel Forest, fixed a bug where physics in combination with Tiki's caused a black screen, fixed a bug where the special account in the game was different to one in the save game, fixed an issue where you could not complete the master shutdown button in the murmur lair, fixed an issue where the ball from the tutorial would not spawn again, Fixed an issue where the game could crash if you triggered a button during the loading screen. Balanced the seesaw mesa in jellyfish fields. Fixed a bug where the power crystals were not counted correctly. Fixed a bug where you cannot travel to locked locations on the map. Fixed some achievements unlocking issues and reduced the amount of shinies needed to buy spatulas from Mr. Krabs. So this is pretty much the full patch notes. Um, of course, if you guys want to check it out yourselves, you can, but I don't recommend it because, I mean... Like, I went to go on their website and it just did not, like, come out. It just basically said the link was broken. So, I don't know what the hell is going on with that. But, luckily, thanks to Zach Pack, he's the one that actually had the... I guess he he's the one that got there really quick and he was fast enough to get the patch notes. So, yeah, thanks to him. So, all of these fixes are included in the Nintendo Switch version as they were on the Xbox One... Uh, PS4 and PC so yeah pretty much the Nintendo Switch is on par now with everyone else of course there are still like more bugs to be fixed but I think the biggest bug that needs to be fixed now is probably the rendering issues that happen in Sand Mountain and the rooftops of downtown Bikini Bottom but other than that this game is pretty much like at its best and I'm hoping later on they could fix it up a little bit more to make it a little bit more polished but yeah anyways that's gonna be it for today's video my name is Triforce Addiction I hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you